from YouTube, New Beginning Stretch of the Big Ben. Bienvenidos a todos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. We want to welcome our NBC family. We want to welcome all those that are joining us by audio and video. Prepare yourselves to receive. Amen. God wants to bless you, encourage you. Yes, he, he wants to change you, and He wants to correct you. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's a correcting God. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. We're His children. He's our Heavenly Father. So Amen. He's going to correct us and be corrected. Amen. So praise God. Bear your Bible. Soldier God. Yes. And let's say this. Let's, let's make this declaration together Amen. and say it like you mean it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It Amen. says this. This is my this Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'm talking about God. I'm God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know, as long as you're confessing the word. Amen. How are we doing? We're doing good. Good, good. I got a red over here, so. You got a red? It's okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, praise God. Anyway, the word changes things, amen. So keep confessing the word of God, amen. Um, that is our authority. We use our authority. You speak the word and authority. We're releasing authority. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. But, you know, that's why it's so important that we confess the right things, amen. So praise God. Uh, prepare yourselves to receive. God has great things for you, amen. And uh, today we're going to be talking about let God arise this new year. This is the new new year, and I have a nugget here for you. I want to read to you. Yeah, I kind of changed it a little bit, but it says it's a new year. It's a new day. It's yeah. a new year. Today is a new uh, uh, year, a new blessing from God. Let yesterday's failures, gains, uh, and pains not ruin the beauty of this new year. Yes. Amen. Let the past let the past go. Let the past behind. Amen. Give thanks and be grateful every day. Amen. It is. Uh, has its own promises of love, hope, peace, success, joy, and strength. Of many, many blessings, amen, from God. It is a new day. It is a new year. So yes. we want to bless, be a rejoice in it, and give thanks unto Him, yes, amen. Yeah. Rejoice and give thanks unto Him. Yes. It's a new year. It's a new day. Thank so God. let's press on with the things amen. of God. You know, He always tells us, press on. Yeah. Amen. Not hold back, but yes. press on. We right. just sang a few minutes ago. It says, there's no turning back. Amen. You've got God with you all the time. He says He never leaves us nor forsakes us. So why are you holding back? Amen. The Bible says you can do all things all through Christ things. who strengthens you. Amen. Yeah. And now we're going to be talking about let God arise. Yeah. Amen. It's time. Listen, we're, we, you probably hear this several times, but we got to take the limits off. Yes. We put limits on everything and we try to put limits on God on yes. how things yes. should be done. Mm -hmm. We got to take the limits off. And you know, when he says, let go and let God, mm -hmm. let him do it. Don't try to help him out. <laughs> Sometimes we just give him a little bit, you know, because we don't trust him. Yeah. He's not going to move until you release it all. Amen. And we need to release it all. Let go mm -hmm. and let God. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Let me see what I wrote here. Let God arise this new year. Take the limits off. Amen. Let God arise. Uh, from your cares, your troubles, your problems. Yes. Huh. Do you have some? I know we all have some, oh, okay? Yeah. But you got to let them go and let God arise. Yeah. Your troubles, your, uh, your circumstances, whatever the situation may be, let God arise over the situation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I need to take these off. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And we're going to be talking about um, Psalm 60. Well, there you go. Woo, I love eagles. Let God arise. Keep going. There you go. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. As a matter of fact, I was going to open it. Open your Bibles there. It says Psalm 68 1. Let's go to Psalms. I had already marked it here. We use the Word of God. Amen. We use the Word of God. The Bible says you'll know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Amen. We want to be free from uh, uh, traditions, mindsets. Uh, you know what people say people say uh, lots of things you know oh, yeah. so and so says mm -hmm. well what is so and so says can you give me scripture to it mm -hmm. no one knows but somebody says so well let's not go by what somebody says so let's go by what the word of God says amen and uh, if, uh, excuse me Ephesians uh, 
68 1 says, Let God arise in what? Psalm, excuse me. <laughs> Psalm, <laughs> Psalm, Psalm six, uh, 68 verse 1 says what? Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Whatever enemies you have, tears, worries, concerns, anxieties, all these things, sicknesses, you know, let them go. It says, Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. They're going to go. When you start confessing the word of God, you're going to start, you're going to walk out in faith. Yes. And fear has to go. Yes. I don't care what fears you have, get full of the word, and your faith is going to rise, and you're going to start walking out in faith and no yes. fear no more. Amen. Amen. And some of us, you know, the Bible says, walk, you, the just shall walk by faith. Amen. 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 And so we need to do the same thing. Walk in faith. Get in the word. This year, you know, make a promise, you know. Yes. <laughs> Get in the word more. Amen. Spend more time in the word. Amen. Right. Get the word in you. When yeah. you get the word in you, mm -hmm. it's going to get out of all the fears and all the words and all the concerns. Mm -hmm. And you're going to walk out in faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because God has called you and equipped you to what you need to do. Yeah. But you don't know what until you spend time with him yes. and get yes. with him. And now I know what I need to do. Yes. But I want to yes. step out. Mm -hmm. God first. Amen. Yes. Seek you first. God, his mm -hmm. kingdom. And all these other things shall be added yeah. unto you. So I'm going to seek him first. And then I'm going to step out. Yeah. Whatever giants are waiting for you out there. Oh, yeah. Just like David says. Wow, giants are waiting for me. Well, yeah. guess what? I know who's backing me. Yeah. I know who's with me. God is with me. So yes. I don't care what's out there. Because yes. I'm going to use the word. And yeah. I'm going to change things. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Be on fire yeah. for God. We used to be on fire for the world. Why can't we be on fire for God? That's right. Amen. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let me finish. Let God rise, let his enemy, enemies be scattered. Yes. Let them also that uh, hate him uh -huh. flee before him. Amen. They're going to go. Mm -hmm. Those things, you know, mindsets, traditions, yeah. all these other things, you know, they've got to go. Things have got to change. I have a little sign up here that I brought with me, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be saying it again, but it says, pray more and worry less. Oh, yeah. Amen. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you're going to pray, why worry? Yeah. And if you're going to worry, why pray? That's it. You need to write that down. Mm -hmm. If you're going to pray for it, let let go and let God. Let go if you're going to pray God. about it, leave it in God's hands. Yes. And leave it there and let it stay there. Amen. But if you're going to worry about it, you know, hey, you're, you're putting limits on God. Yes. You got to take those limits off. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Let me see what else you got coming. There we go. John 8, book of John, chapter 8, verse 31 and 32 says, If ye continue in my words, mm -hmm. if you continue in yeah. my words, God is saying, telling his, mm -hmm. the Jewish people, his believers, if you continue in my words, then ye are my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth is going to do what? Set you free. It says, make you free. Make you Some free. translation says, set you free. Yeah, yeah. Amen. It's going to set us free from what? mindsets we have what yeah. traditions we have amen yeah, yeah. hallelujah praise god let me read it to you from the uh, amplified mm -hmm. you can turn to the book of john and verse uh, chapter eight i'll read it to you from the amplified are you there mm -hmm. verse 31 start verse 31 saying, so jesus said to those Jews who, who had believed in him, if you abide in my word and, and it's, excuse me, if you abide in my word, hold fast to my teachings and live according in accordance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hold to his teachings. We got to take these teachings and hold them dear mm -hmm. and use it. Amen. Amen. You <laughs> ain't gonna do you no good if you get it in you and you never speak it out. Mm -hmm. It's a spoken word. Yes. You got to speak the word. Jesus yeah. says he formed his world. He spoke this world into existence. That's how powerful words are. Yeah. But sometimes we just use them real cheap, you know, and just mm -hmm. s scatter them out. Yeah. And you got to be careful. Words are seeds. Yes. And they carry life and they carry death. Yes. So we have, we have to be careful. Yes. Verse 32 says, And you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Yes. Amen. I am free. You are free. Yes. And he set us free. So why, don't allow yourself to get... <laughs> Uh, be a prisoner of this again. Yes, yes. Don't allow yourself to, 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 to go back. 
through the same things, you know, believing the same things. Yeah. We're not going to do that. We're going to stay free because yeah. we're going to get the word in us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to flow in the word and we're going to press on with the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Let me see what I wrote here. Let go and let God instructs us to let go of the things or the circumstances in our lives that are out of control. Mm -hmm. I know you don't have any, but <laughs> pastor does, okay? So you got to be careful. You cannot fight a spiritual battle with our physical strength. That's it. That's I've it. said it over and over. It's time to get it, okay? Yeah. It's a spiritual battle you're fighting. And you're not fighting flesh and blood. You're fighting principalities. Amen? You're fighting a spiritual battle. So you need the Word of God. Amen. You need the authority of God. If you don't have that, you're defeated already. It's not right. a physical battle. Amen. Amen. We want to fight for everything, but it's not a phys our physical strength. You lose, but instead, trust and lean on God's might. It is a type of surrender that invites God to uh, work His way. Amen. And we leave Him to be in control. Amen. He's in control. So basically, let go and let God. You need to write that down every time before you go home, before you go anywhere. Let go and let God. Uh -huh. Amen. Magnify God and not your circumstances. I know you don't have circumstances, but yeah. I do. <laughs> Problems, cares, worries, anxieties, troubles, enemies. Yeah. Amen. You know, we only have one enemy, and that enemy is devil. Yes. Satan. Amen. This Satan. He says, he comes to steal, kill, kill and destroy. destroy. Amen. Jesus says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. So let's not take it out on each other. You know, if we are feeding on him, we wouldn't do that. You know, when you feed on more on him, you're walking with his love and his yes. compassion. Yes. Yes. And yes. that way, you don't react in the wrong way, yes. in the flesh, instead of reacting in the spirit. Yes. Amen. Just like Jesus, you know, he could have wiped them all out, but he didn't. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was looking through his eyes, you know, mm -hmm. love and compassion. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I wrote here. Remember, we're prayer. We're, we're God's warriors. Warriors, mm -hmm. not warriors. Warrior. Yes. Some of us are warrior champions. You know, it's time to give it up. <laughs> give it up. Amen. Be a warrior for God. Amen. And what do I do? You need to have relationship and spend time with Him and spend time in His Word. Amen. In order for you to be a warrior for God. Amen. I can do all things. Don't say, you know, whatever things you've said before, don't say them anymore. I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't. Yes, because the Bible says I can do oh, all no. things through Christ yeah. who strengthens yeah. me. Amen? Yeah. So be a warrior for God. <laughs> pray and don't worry. If you are going to worry, why pray? Amen? Yeah. Uh -uh. What are you letting rise in your life this new year? Mm -hmm. Or maybe daily? Are you focusing your actions, your words, your energy, or your thoughts on Him? Or what the world says? Right. says, but Pastor, you don't understand. I've lost my job. I've lost my money. I've lost loved ones. My health is bad. Somebody did me wrong. Somebody walked out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have excuses. Amen. Mm -hmm. We magnifying the wrong thing. Yeah, and magnifying yeah. the problem yeah. and not magnifying your God. Well, okay. yeah, we got to turn that around. Yes. We got to magnify Him yes. and not the problem. Okay. You know, every time you complain about the problem, you're magnifying your problem. You're making your problem bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, Make your God, God bigger. God. Tell your problem how big your God is mm -hmm. yeah. instead of telling God how big your problem is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Magnify your God. Yes. You're magnifying the focus on the wrong thing. You're letting okay. defeat. You let discouragement and you let letting self pity rise up. Yeah, yeah. Amen. You just gonna feed on it and feed on it and yeah. feed on it. And guess what? You gonna share with somebody, <laughs> and they got bigger oh. problems than you do. Oh, Jesus. Amen. Y'all listen to you, but say, wait, wait a minute. You know, <laughs> I can't help you. I got more problems than you do. That's nothing. Let me tell you what I'm going through. <laughs> So you got you got to be careful who you vent to or who you share with. Amen. Mm -hmm. Turn that around by magnifying God. Yes. And keeping your priorities in order. Of course, yeah, yeah. Matthew 6 33 says to seek Him first. Yeah. Get your relationship right. We're just starting the new year. We're still talking about the new year. Mm -hmm. Get your priorities right. Amen. 
Why? Because God is still in control. Yes. Are you letting him be in control? Uh -huh. You can make this choice. Mm -hmm. You make this right choice mm -hmm. and let him be in control. <laughs> Somebody may have walked out on you. Somebody may have hurt you. <laughs> but guess what? God is our restorer. You may have lost your job, money, loved ones. Don't worry about that. God is your provider. Yeah, He's Jehovah yeah. Jireh. Amen. My yeah. provider. Mm -hmm. And he'll provide for you. But yes, you got to trust him. Say, Lord, he said, I already know. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you give God, it's coming back to you sevenfold. Mm -hmm. It's not coming just one for one. Mm -hmm. It's going to bless you and multiply it. Yeah. Amen. So let him bless you. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Amen. God is our provider. He supplies, the Bible says he supplies all my needs. Mm -hmm. All my, not all your wants, but all your needs. Yeah, it's a big difference. <laughs> big difference. And he'll fight your battles for you. Thank you, Carmen. I like that. This is the uh, New Living Translation. God said to the people, are we his people? Yes. God said to his people, who believeth in him? You are truly my disciples if you remain faithfully mm -hmm. to my teachings. Mm -hmm. We gotta remain faithfully to teachings, mm -hmm. amen. We gotta stand on the word, amen. We gotta grow roots in the word, amen. You ever seen a big tree? You know why oh, that yeah. tree? You know why this beautiful tree standing there? Because it's got big roots, oh, yes. deep yeah. roots, and that's what we need to do in the word of God. Yeah. We gotta have some deep roots in the word of God, amen. Yeah. One of them with faith, 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 faithfully uh, to my teachings, and you will know the truth, and the truth will. Set you free. No longer am I going to speak that way. Mm -hmm. No longer am I going to let the bad habits or the bad things mm -hmm. hold me back. Right, right. I'm going to start speaking what the Word of God says, Amen. and not what I want to say, right. and not what so and so about to say it. You know, we'll do this. We'll do this. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? When somebody shares with you, you ask them for scripture. Well, I don't have scripture for it, but so and so said. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go by what the word of God says. Yes. Quit being ignorant of the word. Yes. Amen. Or say, quit being lazy mm -hmm. and not getting in the word. We need to get in the word and get it in us so we can speak it out. Amen. If it's not in there, <laughs> no deposit, no return. That's it. You gotta get it in you so you can mm -hmm. get it at, let it out. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I'm blessed yeah. already. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. I like this. The Lord will what? Fight your battles for you, and you shall hold your peace, every man at rest. Mm. Amen. There's wars going on around us, but I'm going to be at peace. Mm -hmm. You know, we do. Uh, Daniel and the lions then. I guarantee you, them lions were hungry. Yeah. But he was not worried about it. Mm -hmm. He already knew. They threw the human children in the in a pit of fire. Mm -hmm. It right. says, S -s -s yeah, it, it, seven times hotter than, than before. And guess what? <laughs> they were not concerned. They were not worried about it. And then they threw three in there. And he says, wait a minute, I see four in there. Yeah. Amen. Wherever your situation, whatever your circumstances, yeah. God is with you. Yeah. Yeah. Say, Lord, I know you're with me because you said you never leave me no for a second. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whatever your situation may be, God is with you. Amen. And things have to change. And this uh, Exodus 14, 14. Amen. That's the Amplified. Keep going. Here we go. Let what? Let the Lord fight your battles. He what? Hasn't, hasn't lost, lost one time yet. <laughs> yet. He, he, he fought won. the enemy. He fought Satan. And he won. Amen. You know when they crucified him and they buried him, they thought it was over. But it wasn't. They rolled a big stone over the uh, over that uh, tomb, you know? Mm -hmm. Big enough where not one man could roll it back. That's it. Amen. They needed lots of men to roll it. Mm -hmm. But guess what? It just took one angel to just go. Yeah. <laughs> and that thing was boomed. Amen. It was gone. It was gone. And, and he rose again. See, mm -hmm. we just don't uh, rejoice that he died. We rejoice that he rose again. Yes. And he went up to heaven, Amen. seated at the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. And he's yes. not Amen. only sitting there, he's yeah. interceding Amen. for us Amen. believers. Amen. Amen. He's praying for us. Woo. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. I like this. Okay, we got, we're, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> when you start giving God glory and letting Him arise in your life, you cannot stay defeated. You cannot stay defeated. Yeah, yeah. 
This is a choice, you know. You can fall and you get up. Or you can stay and choose to stay down. Uh -huh. You know, some children of God are still staying down. Why are you still staying down? Mm. It's time for you to get up. He says, get up and press on. Yes. Amen. Some of us are still hung up, you know, with old sin, old past. Mm. If we've confessed it and he's heard it and he's forgiven us and forgot yes. about it, yes. why are we still down? That's it. That's it. Exactly. Amen. Amen. It's time we understand he's forgiven us and forgotten yes. us. We need to press on. It's That's time it. to move on. That's it. No turning back. There's no, no turning, turning back. back. Amen. Mm -hmm. We gotta press on. Woo! Let him arise in your life. You cannot stay defeated unless you choose. Amen. That's if it. you're defeated, it's not his choice, it's your choice. It's your choice. It's the problem's not with him. The problem is with us. We gotta yeah. get this mm -hmm. straight. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your enemies will be scattered. Your uh They'll tremble at your words of faith. Start speaking faith-filled words. Yes. What's yes. coming out of your mouth makes a big difference. Yes. Is it positive or negative? Yes. Amen. Is it lifting you or or or, or, or lowering you? Mm -hmm. As you begin now by declaring God's goodness mm -hmm. in your life and let God arise so that you can move forward in victory. God has for you. Mm -hmm. God has Amen. great plans for you. Yes. God has great plans for you. We just started a new year, and God has plans for you. That's None it. of them include defeat. That's None it. of them include for you to sit. That's it. All of them include for you to be involved. Mm -hmm. Involved. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Preach it, brother. <laughs> Have victory in Jesus. Amen. Have victory in Him. Ooh. When God arrives, two things happen. The enemies are scattered, and His people gather unto Him for rest. Uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Psalms again, 68, 1-3. Amen? So you can follow along with that. But it says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Yes. Let those who hate him flee before him. Yes. As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melts before him the fire, mm -hmm. so let the wicked perish at the presence <laughs> of God. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before uh, God. And let them rejoice exceedingly. Yes. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. If we say if it was a perfect, if it wasn't, you know, uh, cold or raining or snowing, yeah, it doesn't make sense. God gave me a new day. I choose to be glad and rejoice in it. Yes. yes. Regardless of what the world says. Amen. Amen. But seven times in this verse, God let God arise and stand up and come mm -hmm. on the scene with power mm -hmm. and establish his purpose. Yes. Amen. As you can see, let, and I underline yes. every one of them so for you to see. <laughs> let is an action word. Yes, it is. Give God permission to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let go totally, completely. Let go and let God. Yes. Allow him to have his way. Uh -huh. Amen. Have his way. Don't try to limit him. Don't try to tell him or right. how to do it. He knows. Mm -hmm. You just got to stay out of the way. Amen. Bring it to him and then walk away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll tell you uh, all the time about bringing your, 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 your garbage to, to the trash can or the dumpster. You never take it back. So when we bring our garbage of sin to God, mm -hmm. don't take the garbage back. Leave it there. Amen. Mm -hmm. Allow him to participate in solving your problem. Yeah. It's not his problem. It's yours. Mm -hmm. But you're giving it to him. And he's he's, he's going to do something to fix it. But now you're telling him how to do it. Yeah. So get out of the way. <laughs> Since God says, he says, go ahead and do what needs to be done. And then give it to him. Lead is a powerful, power, power word. It involves your will. It involves your will. Let involves your will, your spirit, your determination, your drive, your motivation, resolve, your backbone, and your willpower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let him have his way. Yeah. Amen. So it involves your will. It involves your choice. I choose yeah. to give it to him. Uh -huh. you know? He won't, listen, he won't take it from you unless you give it to him. That's it. That's it. Amen. 
Salvation is a free gift, but you got to receive it. Yeah. Amen. You got to receive it. You have to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you'll be your Lord and Savior if you confess yes, it. You will. Also, it's your choice and your your decision. I decide to change this year. I decided to be different. You know, insanity. We talk, always talk about insanity. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over, yes. year after year after year, uh -huh. and expecting different results. Yeah. We say one thing, but we're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's insanity. Yeah. Doing the same thing, just like the little hamster on the little wheel, you know, going a hundred miles and going nowhere. <laughs> That's it. That's insanity. We have to change. We have to do something on our part. Amen. Psalms 191, uh, 123. Keep going. Should be coming up. In the e easy to read version says, you can go to God's most high to hide. You can go to God, all powerful for protection. I say to the Lord, you are my place of safety. My fortress, my God, I trust you. Yes. God will save you from hidden dangers and from deadly diseases yes amen. so you can trust your god he put nothing on you that's going to hurt you or kill right. you you know i've heard many believers say god put this on me to no. show me something no mm -mm. god gee well god sacrificed his son mm -hmm. and put all these things on him to go to the cross and be sacrificed so why would he want to put it on you yes, if amen. he put it all on him that's not that's not right that's not what the word of god says he put it on jesus so that you wouldn't have to go through it right. so that you could know this and confess what the word of god says that's it. by his stripes i'm healed amen so let's not be caught on that you know amen. he's not good he said he can't put you he can't give you no sickness because that's there's it. no sickness in heaven that's it. amen right and he can't put you to suffer these things that jesus already suffered for that's right Amen. So let's 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 get our let's get our let's get ourselves right. Amen. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High right. will rest in the shadow of the yes. Almighty. And this is Psalms ninety-one, one of my favorites. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Mm -hmm. For He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler mm -hmm. and from the deadly pestilence. Amen. Yeah. And He's already done that. Amen. Psalm 400 says this, one through one and two. I make make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Mm -hmm. Come before His presence with singing. Sing it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. It didn't say <laughs> your worry or your past or any all all these other things. It says come before, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Right. Amen. Let's, let's just get it right. Nehemiah 8 and 10 says what? The joy of the Lord is our strength. And I've said it like this. Believers should be the happiest people on earth. Why? Because we, we know the truth. And it sets us free from all the mindsets. It sets us free from all habits. It sets us free from all the negative stuff. Yes. So why are you still holding on to it? Just don't confess it. Don't receive it. Amen. Somebody give you something bad, you say, I don't want it. Oh, that's it. Well, you hear it, mm -hmm. <laughs> you see it, don't receive it. That's it. I'm not receiving it. I'm not going there anymore. I'm not going to be moved that way anymore. I don't receive that negative stuff. Numbers 10 35 says, And it came to pass when the ark was set forth that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let <laughs> thy enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. Mm -hmm. The enemies has got to go, especially when you're following Jesus and you're confessing the word of God. Yes. Those things have to bow. You know why? Because you're using the word of God because you're using authority. Yes. And that's the word of God. The word of God has authority. Yes, it does. Amen. Woo. When you speak negative things, there's no authority in that, but you can have what you say. Mm -hmm. So when I say the right things amen. and not the not the wrong things, amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord. Yeah. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Let God arise in your life. <laughs> let let God arise. Surrender to him daily and praise him daily. Rejoice and be glad daily. Psalm 18, 24. This is the day the Lord has made. I. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I or say we, some translation says, 
we, some translation says, we, I mean I, so you rejoice and be glad in me. Yeah. Regardless of what people say. Yeah. You hang around people and everybody has something to say about it. <laughs> Amen. It's not yes. enough. <laughs> Remember, mm -hmm. if you follow people, you, they'll never be pleased. That's but if you're following God, I'm pleased. Yes. Lord, you gave me another day to say Amen. You know your first miracle every day? Mm -hmm. You open your two eyes yes. oh, absolutely. and say, thank you, Lord, yeah. for this day. Uh -huh. He gave you a wake-up call, mm -hmm. and you woke up. You opened your two eyes. That's the first miracle. Thank you, Lord, for giving me life to see. Yes. Amen. To worship you, to serve you. Amen. Amen. Man, when you get your priorities right, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. But you got to remember that. Sit and keep your priorities right, Matthew 6, 33. Let's, let's read that. Open your Bibles to Matthew 6, 33. I know we read it all the time, but it's okay. Sometimes we just got to go over. And sometimes, you, we it's called maturity sometimes. Yeah. You read it over and over and over. And, and all of a sudden you say, wow, i never seen it like that before. Mm -hmm. It's called growth. Yeah. It's called maturity. Wow, the Lord opened your eyes to something different this yes. time. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I've never seen it like that before. Matthew 6, 33 and 34. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. It says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And 34 says, Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Mm -hmm. Sufficient unto <coughs> the day is the evil thereof. Yes, Amen. Yes, so. <laughs> I'm not, don't be concerned about tomorrow. Mm. Just today. Today has enough worries of itself. Mm. Tonight said <laughs> that you don't have to be worried about the, the future or, or the past. Let, yeah. let them go and yeah. just press on with today. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Glory. I'm rejoicing. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Know that you can do all things through Christ. All know things. that you are called of God. Know that you can do all things all through things. Christ. Uh, yes. Philippians 4.13. Amen. Yes. And know that the greater one, he is in you. The greater one is in you. When you confess Jesus as Lord and Savior, he come to live in you. Yes. Holy Spirit is with you. Amen. And that's uh, 1 John 4.4. 4. He's there with you. Amen. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I am with you. You are mine. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the only way you give it up if if you surrender yeah. yourself. Amen. Yes. So let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. Let God arise and your enemies, your troubles, your yeah, cares yeah. have to flee. They have to be scattered. Amen. James yeah. 4, 7 and 8 says this. Submit yourself therefore to God. Yes. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Amen. Submit yourself to God. Amen. Resist. Use the word. Resist the devil. And he'll flee from you. He's yes. got to go. He's got to obey the word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> he's got to yes. obey what the word of God says. So he's, he's, he has to go. Yep. He's already been defeated. Yes, he has. Amen. So <laughs> don't let a defeated enemy keep you in bondage. Right. Amen. Let him go. And let him know where he belongs. He belongs yes. in the pit. And he can stay in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, James 4, 7 in the easier to read version says, So give yourself to God, stand against the devil, and he will run away from yes. you. Amen. I used to be on the run. The devil always had me on the run before. <laughs> <laughs> and I was running. I was a good runner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. Now I put him on the run. That's it. And you could do the same thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Flee means to run, to escape, to take off. Yeah. He's got to go. We must stand our ground and use Authority. Amen. Authority is using God's word. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Yeah. And you need the word of God. If you don't have the word and if you're not confessing the word, enemy's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. He's not afraid of you. Remember, we're talking about a full-time devil. Yeah. So we need to be full-time believers. Yeah. If you're part-time, he's going to have your lunch quick. Amen. <laughs> Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. I, I, I thank you, Lord, on a yeah. daily basis. Amen. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. 1 Peter 5 and 7 from the Amplified. Casting all cares, all your anxieties, all your worries, 
and all your concerns once and for all on him yeah. for he cares Very about you yeah. and then don't ever say he don't care about you mm -hmm. That's it. if you say things like that it means you don't know your god That's it. he knows all about you mm -hmm. and he knows all your faults mm -hmm. And he still loves you yes, more yes. than anybody. Yeah. Yeah. And he went to the cross and proved it. Mm -hmm. If you're talking foolishly like this, meaning mm -hmm. you don't have a relationship and you yes, don't know yes. your God, you wouldn't be saying those things like that. That's right. He don't care about me. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're running from him and we're saying the wrong things. And the enemy says the enemy comes around seeking who he may devour. That's it. Amen. As a roaring lion seeking who he may devour, how is he going to devour you? Well, he's following to see what's coming out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. If yeah, you're speaking right. negative things, yeah. you're opening doors for him to walk in. All right, yeah. <clears throat> exactly true. So you got to keep those doors shut. Yeah. Who can do this? Only you can do this. You know, I wanted to say it. I had to say it. You know, I just had to give him a piece of my mind, you know. Yeah, but you open the door for the enemy to walk in. Yeah. You got it off of you, but guess what? You spoke negative. Now all them negative things are going to come on you. Mm -hmm. And the enemy, you open the door for the enemy to come in. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful. You know, you know, Jesus could have said many things, mm -hmm. but sometimes he just was silent. Yes. Yeah. And he didn't say anything. Yeah. He could have called a legion of angels to come mm -hmm. and save him, but he didn't. He wanted to complete his mission. Yes. And we must do the same thing. We must complete yes. our mission. Amen. And we can because we, he says we can do all things through Christ. All things. Amen. So we just got to stay strong in him. And we can do yes. all things. All things. Through him. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, New Living Trans uh, the New Life uh, version says this. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries, anxieties, cares, troubles, and problems to him because... He cares for you. Yes, he does. Uh, maybe I left out a few, but we all have some of these things. Mm. We just got to give them to him. Yes. Amen. Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and a love and of a sound mind. Listen to this. Don't let your authority or your power go to waste. That's it. Use it. Mm -hmm. Don't let. Don't be weak. A defeated believer you have the greater one and all your power you need is in you mm -hmm. so don't live a defeated wimpy yes, yes. comfy life huh. participate mm -hmm. and not spectate yes, amen <laughs> man <laughs> lord don't be defeated don't don't live don't be a defeated believer mm -hmm. we got lots of them mm -hmm. i don't go i don't do no, you can't do. Mm. Just don't live a defeated, wimpy, comfy life. <laughs> Basically, we're yeah. saying, we talked about this, is lukewarmness. Yeah, yeah. I'm just lukewarm. I'm trying to please the world, and I'm trying to please God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He says, I'd rather you be hot or cold, mm -hmm. but not lukewarm. He says, yeah. I'll spit you, I'll vomit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. So, stay hot for God. Stay mm -hmm. hungry for God. You know, we stay hungry for, hey, football games are on. <laughs> <laughs> stay hungry and stay hungry, hungry and thirsty for more of him on a daily basis. Amen. Yes. On a daily basis. We're just getting started this new year. So mm -hmm. we got to practice this on a daily basis, yeah. not just this one day at a time. That's a beautiful song. One yeah. day at a time, dear Jesus, I want to serve you. Amen. And I want to follow you. And I want to do what you've called me to do. Mm -hmm. And you yes. can do, you know. Mm -hmm. The world says you can. You're nobody. Mm -hmm. You're not qualified. They disqualify you for each and everything. But God says, if God qualified you, it doesn't matter what the world says. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's already qualified you and called you and equipped you mm -hmm. to succeed what he called you to do. Yes. Amen. Woo. We're going to stop here. Amen. And uh, did you hear something? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So let God, right. so let go and let God surrender and cast and give him full control. Amen. So let's, let's remember this. We'll pick it up from there next week. So let, let go and let God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord.
Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. 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 I did. <laughs> Amen. Those of you that are watching, those of you that are listening, just remember: if you've never accepted Christ, mm. we're just starting a new year, a new yes. day. It's time for you to come home. Yes. Amen. It's time for you to come home. All you need to do is say, "Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life and be my Lord and Savior." And you know what? He won't turn you down. That's it. He won't turn you down. He'll receive you. doing a bad face and come home. Amen. He's waiting for you. Just like the prodigal son. The father was waiting for him. And he was there. Amen. And he met him. And he wants to meet you. But you know what? You got to make some changes. You got to make a turnaround. And start living for God. Amen. Get in a Bible-based church where you can learn the word of God. Get you a Bible. Start reading the word of God. Amen. He's got great plans for you. None of them include the feet. That's it. So. Let's get busy for God. Amen. Stay busy. And stay hungry. Stay hot for God. Amen. And praise God. If you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, lay hands on the sick and it shall be covered. Yes. So I'm laying hands on myself. Amen. And I'm praying he did over me. Because that's what the word of God says. Body, line up with the word of God. Amen. Receive your healing right now. Yes. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Sometimes you got to speak to your body. Because you know what? Your body talks to you. Yeah. You know, you know how it talks to you? My yeah. arms, my knees ache. My back aches. <laughs> Everything aches. So you speak back to it and says, By Jesus Christ, I call you well. By Jesus Christ, I call you healed. No malfunctions in my body. Every part of my body functions to the uh the way God created it to function. Amen. I'm speaking positive things back to it, you know, instead of negative. You know, when you start magnifying all the hurts and pains, oh, yeah. well you're magnifying the wrong things. Mm -hmm. Magnify God. It says by yes. Jesus Christ I was healed. So oh, yes. if the, you say that over and over and over. You're still confessing what the Word of God says. Yes. Amen. Be healed. And body, you line up with the Word of God. And yes. receive your healing. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Those of you watching, listening, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com. Hit that donate button. Uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now you can do a uh, cash app mm -hmm. and New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. God bless you. Have a happy new year and prosperous new year. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. First time. Amen.